Hello and welcome to the very first video by Sam I am, which is me. You can call me Sam if you want. Or Sammy. I don't really mind as long as you call me. Hey. No, that is the cheesiest thing I will say today. So let's get serious. This is my first video, as I've stated, and I'm going to be doing a video on Shani for Christ because I'm a little obsessed and she needs more reaction videos because she's priceless. Okay, so we're going to start off with a classic video called Shani Can't Cook and she's making something, something with condensed milk. I don't know, who knows? I like condensed milk, but I'm not sure I'm going to like what Shani makes with condensed milk. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Shall we start? Shall we? I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go. Right off the bat, I'm going to say there's a lot going on. Okay? Hello. There's a lot happening there. I don't How know what that thing in the guys? front is, what this thing is, but... How are you guys? Okay, I'll shut up now. We are making an incredible, soft, and fluffy condensed milk buns. Uh, this is my first attempt. Condensed milk buns? Is that buns with condensed milk in them? Or is that condensed milk flavoured buns? Because those are two different things. Two different concepts. I hope it's buns filled with condensed milk. Because that would be impressive. Like a donut with condensed milk. I don't know. Sounds a bit gross now. After this, I will put a link to the actual YouTube video with the recipe. But I'm going to try this. Um, I think it's going to be really tasty. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So what we have for ingredients for this is a cup of milk, a quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk, of course, one egg, two tablespoons of sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast, three cups and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, some salt and a quarter cup of salted butter. This is supposed to be a really... Isn't that like a lot of salt? Like just thinking about it. It's quite a lot of salt, it's got salt and salted butter or maybe I'm just overthinking this I don't bake guys not well at least so who knows how this is all supposed to go but it doesn't look like enough condensed milk I will say that I think you need more but we'll see how this goes yummy dough um, I hope you guys enjoy this dough. I know I will. Now first, what we have to do is join the, you know, wet ingredients with each other. So, <clears throat> take your milk. No, that's bloody water. That's not milk. Look at that color. What is th what is that? That's like transparent. Sorry, excuse the dogs, they get excited. Um what is that? What is that? I don't know. That's not milk I've ever seen before. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. I'm using an instant powder milk, by the way. Take your 
condensed milk, put that into the milk. It's instant powder milk. That's what it is. It looks gross. I hate it. I hate it already. Like so. This is a quarter cup of condensed milk to a cup of milk. One egg. Two tablespoons of flour and the yeast, the two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. We'll put that in there. Isn't that the, sh the salt? Not the flour, the flour's over here. What? Shani, what's going on? And then, about a teaspoon of salt. And since I'm shaking it, it looks a lot, but it's not. There we go. So, okay, wait, sorry I'm stopping so much. I have many, many questions. What was that? Was that flour that she just put in? Because this is the salt. So what was that thing there? And then what is this? Okay. If you know... Help me out in the comments. Or am I just stupid? Probably the latter. I'm probably just stupid. And then you just mix that in. Make sure the egg is whisked in with the yeast. That looks so gross. Just saying. So nice. No, not nice. No, definitely not nice. Put that there. Right now, I'm mixing the egg in with the yeast, making sure it gets nice. And we let this proof the yeast concoction for about 10 minutes. You don't have to do it very long with this one. So we'll just let that sit for a minute. How's everyone doing? How's everyone in the audience? This is an interesting Fine. recipe. Yeah. It's called condensed milk rolls. And it, it just sounded fascinating so to me when I saw this. It was actually given to me by one of my mods, Heretic. And um, she was like, I'm making this. So I was like, you know what? I have all the ingredients. I can make this too. So we're going to make it and see how it is. So, we're both making this today, so let's see how both recipes. She's making it in bread form, I'm making it in roll form. Um, I really enjoy rolls. I really do. You th Stud stodgy stuff on the spoon. Let's go back and just watch that. What's that? What's that? You think the Mixed yeast better. would like really expand because of the, the condensed milk? Oh, make sure that your milk, by the way, is room temp, not cold, but room temp. So it can allow the yeast to activate. You can tell it's activating because you'll start seeing little bubbles pop up. And that's what you want for a good solid freaking meal, man. But we also need some oil. But this is like a really cool recipe. And I saw it made today and I was like, you know what? Gotta try it. I'm figuring it might taste like, you know those um, old country buffet? I don't, I don't want to be nitpicky or anything. But I do have to point out that this, this here, is food. That is food. And it is unpleasant. Unpleasant. You need to clean. Please clean. Like rolls. I figured this is what it's going to taste like. But we're going to find out. Um, you have to allow 
the bread to process twice. So we're going to make the dough up. We're gonna allow it to, you know, rise. We're gonna punch it down and then we're gonna put it in the roll type situation and then we'll proof it for another 45 minutes. You proof the first time for an hour. The second time you proof for 45 minutes. Um, and I, 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 we're gonna find out how this process is. So, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. So, we're, we're gonna see how this is, man. I can't wait to see it. Are, are you excited? You know, this all leads no. up to you know, tonight's cooking show, which I'm going to be making some, I know it sounds weird, but it's, uh, bologna, tur it's turkey bologna, it's turkey bologna and craft cheese, processed American cheese, uh, chaffles. And I'm also going to make a Spanish rice alongside it with the rolls. I think that'll be really good for tonight. Also, I have this, uh, strawberry jello cake that I want to show you guys on how to make. Um, it's a no bake cake. So you'll be happy about that. I'm sure a lot of people would be happy with this no bake cake. Uh, mm, I've had this bacon cake. Uh, by my mother-in-law and I have to say when I had it, it was so delicious and not my second mother-in-law, my first mother-in-law, my son's grandmother. Um, that's when I had this initially, except I'm making it strawberry. She made it blueberries, so. That looks hella lumpy. I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but it, it does look very, very lumpy. I think it's gonna be nice and good. Now, this is getting nice, improved, and activated right now. It's eating up all that delicious condensed milk sugars and the two tablespoons of sugar in it. And it's just going to be a nice, smooth consistency with this yeast in here. Oh, yeah. It's looking beautiful. Beautiful is the word today for you. Mm. So, oh, this is beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous among the gorgeousness of this beautiful by the way, if you want to join my membership, go to comments and it should be, or go to the description and it should be in the description, um, the link for my membership, by the way, it should be, let me see, stop, one minute, let me, let me help you guys out. Look at all of that. Look at it. Use a cloth. That is the worst stuff. This stuff is the worst. Why is your fridge dirty? Is that my screen? But is your fridge okay. really dirty there? I don't know. Who knows? I'm gonna put this in. right here. If you join this link right here that I'm putting down and I'm pinning, you could be joining my membership and you could be talking to me right now. Just pin that message. There we go. Go to that link and you can join my perks of being a member and talk to me right now. So, oh, That looks lovely. I think it's almost done. I think it's been, yeah, it's been about 10 minutes now, which is lovely. And now we're just gonna slowly incorporate 
the flower. I'm gonna stand up for this one. This is gonna be lumpy as fuck. I can feel it. I can feel that this is just gonna be one giant lump. Just mix it until it's a big old dough ball, guys. You kind of want to fold the flour in. You see how I flip the spatula? And you want to make sure. Yeah. Did any, does anyone know if anyone tried her recipes? I don't know if they did. But if anyone has ever tried the recipes, let me know how that turned out for you. I would like, I would like feedback on that. You get all the flour incorporated into this. Just a little flour at a time. Just a cup at a time, I would say. Let me turn this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more. The Shannon, dough. how have you really got so much stuff on your shirt? Oh. oh, this is a lovely looking dough. Oh. Now it's like a brownie batter texture. But we're still putting the flour in. Save the quarter cup. You may not need it. I hate it when she does things with her hands. I fucking hate it. Because I don't know. Are your hands clean? I don't know. Who knows? But it's dirty and it's a little gross. Use a spoon. A spoon. Now I'm gonna switch to my hands and mix in this now. Just fold it into itself. Oh. I was right. It wouldn't need the three or the full three and a half cups. Just packing that dough in. Okay. That's all it's going to need. You see, leftover. You don't need that. You want to take the remaining flour and put that on here. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Are you washing your hands? I bloody hope so. By the way, I know my accent's a bit funny. Um, I am from South Africa, but I did live in England for a bit, so. Sometimes I sound really South African, sometimes I sound a little bit harsh. No one, this is what it is. You just deal with it, okay? Because you're going to learn to love me, I think. I hope. Clean bowl, dried and put to side. Now, the next thing we do is we have to incorporate the butter into this dough. So how I saw them do it, and you have to have softened butter, is they kind of like spread it 
on the dough like this in the video. They spread it on the dough and they just folded it. Let me make sure this is, there we go. They folded the butter into the dough until it was nice and smooth. So I'm getting butter all over my hands. So let's go get that butter in that dough like this. I didn't do it. This was part of the recipe is this is how they incorporated the butter in the dough. So I'm going to make sure that's really incorporated. And I think it is actually right now. Is she really breathing right really now or is it just me? Yeah. I don't know. I can hear it. Oh, Six yeah. Cells. This is going to be like such a cells, rich yeah. taste in dough because of the butter in it. Oh my God. Mmm. You could smell the butter with the yeast and the condensed milk. Oh my God. This is incredible dough. You should try this recipe. Um, it's a surprise yeah, stream. I love it. I never heard of this yeah. before. I'm curious to learn. Yeah, I'm going to put the recipe of this in my description after I'm done, but it's really, oh, look at that dough. Look at the color. Are you saving it for Isn't later? Isn't that beautiful? On your shirt. And you? Oh, it smells sweet. It smells almost like um, Hawaiian bread. That would be a cool thing to do is Hawaiian bread. But the, it's all incorporated. So the next thing you do is you just Take a little oil, That's put a lot that of down oil. there, and just cover the ball with oil, and then cover it with a tea towel, like I'm gonna do. And wait for it to proof for about an hour. So, stay tuned guys. In about an hour, I will be back and we're gonna form these buns. There's a specific technique they like to use for these buns. Hard work, so obviously hard I'm work. curious. So stay tuned for that technique of how to form this dough. See you in a little bit. Peace and Maranatha, guys. So when you come Apologies, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, let me just give it there. You can just look at Shani's beautiful face. Um, that was it. That was the first ever video. Guys, we made it. You made it. And that is the real beauty in this. You should be proud because I'm not great at this yet but i will get better i promise i think my graphics and everything are basic right now but i'm still learning okay don't judge me okay i am still learning i'm still figuring it out i probably will do a live at some point when i figure out how to do it um if anyone who knows how to do it please help me but until then, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here for me. I love you. Bye.